down to lower bracket right now where they're going to be facing off against TM and Zapepi, who are really on their breakout performance oh, in yeah. this tournament. Absolutely the, the, amazing. These guys have never been this far in a seasonal and so For sure. it's interesting to see Emphermini and Heisen swap back to the Bryn Sentinel. That's kind of like, I guess, their default pick. Yeah. Did they fight this team earlier already in the set? Maybe they just know this works. Um, but I really like the the Zul Ulgrim, man. That was, that was awesome. They seem to be yeah. doing really well with that combo. But they got this far with this team, so <laughs> I guess... Yeah, they've got that in the back forced. pocket. It's right. break glass in case of Zul. <laughs> Oh, wow. Quick rotation over. They were happy to let TM just kind of sit off onto the side. And Heisen again rotating for the 2v1. No! Turns around with that signature. He made it look like he was going to rotate. And he's like, I can still see behind me. <laughs> we can all yeah. see the same thing. <laughs> it's a game of perfect information. Somehow, so, you know, somehow that works sometimes. It's like, I can't. I'm turned around right now. I'm obviously <laughs> not paying attention to you <laughs> behind me. All right, high and M for Mini, pretty damaged here, but Ooh. so is TM. And now M for Mini's got the edge guard opportunity against TM, but Zapapi relieves the pressure, allowing his teammate to get back up to the stage. Nice hit by Heisen, knocking TM away. TM still doesn't have a weapon. He's been looking for one for a while. Doesn't look like he cares to have one, though, as he is challenging M for Mini off the side of the stage unarmed. He's fine because Zapapi was able to take out Heisen first stock. And it took a minute in, but now they're really just flying off the rails. TM getting sent off. And, and Firmini and Zapapi deep in the red. And they've tied it up there with that. The damage of stocks are perfectly even. We're looking at M Firmini and Zapapi to see which of the two will go down first, give their team and give the other team an advantage here. Let's see what happens. And Firmini Zapapi having to retreat. It safe. Uh oh, and Firmini's going to get him. Oh, and he survives. Not yet enough. And Firmini rotates back to TM, gets a little bit of extra damage here. Now Heisen's going to go oh, for the finisher. Roasted. Oh, boy. There goes M for Mini. Now Zapapi, the only one left with all of his stocks. And Heisen puts an end to that real quick, tying up the stocks and damage. We got a really close game on our hands, folks. Man, really just firing back and forth. But a slight damage lead going the way of the blue team. Heisen and M for Mini uh -oh. starting to bleed. Oh, TM. I, that was a good plan. It didn't work, but that was like, that would have been brutal. Uh-oh, bow ground pound is brutal. So much downward force, but M for Mini able to stabilize yeah, back on the stage. and you saw Heisen there ready to help him out. He was, like, floating in the right area to get him. To pa oh, my goodness. TM nearly gets Ooh. a nice finisher. That was a good that was little a follow slick up. two piece. Yeah, a little extra damage. It all counts. And there goes TM putting Heisen and M for Mini in the Let's lead. Let's go. Oh, they man. They nearly get another one. I think even to gravity cancel. That one would have been a lot closer. That's all right. It's all extra damage. Oh. Don't go into the flames. <laughs> Heisen knows the duration on that one. And there goes that for Mini. The stocks and damage tied up once again. This is such a back and forth. Oh, never mind. TM gets the finisher. And now Zapathy is the only one left with two stocks. Putting his team in the lead. See what kind of damage he can put out while he's on this stock. Zapathy just coming in unarmed, switching up to the axe. Oh, no. 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 M for Mini down and out. He's down and out. That looked like it might have been a connection issue or just a forfeit. He kind of just walked off the stage, right? That's yeah, unfortunate but that here. But hey, don't leaves even. Leaves Heisen alone. Don't even worry about it. Heisen's the clutch master. We've seen him in crazier positions than this. You're right. This he's is only three to... stocks he has to get through. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's done a... seven. He is about to. He's about to bring his team back right here, Lee. Just buckle up. This is what you're watching the Heisen show here. Look at this. He's so skilled. Zapapi, oh, gets in a down air. Perfect avoidance of the recovery. Heisen just looking for an opportunity. And oh nice combo. Gosh. Oh, man. There's nothing you can do to avoid that. Zapapi and TM got some great synergy going on here. And Heisen's, Heisen's having some trouble. Maybe he can take, if he can take out TM, he's one good hit away from taking out TM. Yep. Oh, oh, oh okay. TM almost taking out the back and forth. Oh, what? How is TM still alive? That's crazy. Just not enough. TM, TM going rotating the other side. over. Smart. That's smart for TM to do that because Heisen was going to edge guard him. Yep. And Zapapi was in between. It was like Heisen couldn't get around Zapapi to do it. Let your teammate just roadblock for you. Oh boy. Well, that is unfortunate. Is it? Uh, there was such a such a close. Close, close game. Well, and, and that's enough to warrant the swap back to Olgrim and Zol. And I'm happy to see it because Zol, Zol Olgrim no, really it was seemed to work well work. against Blue and Simple. If it worked against Blue and Simple, it'll, it should work against TM and Zapathy. We'll see what. We'll see.
Ooh, banning leaving Small Brawl Haven, Twilight Grove, and Great Hall. Looks like we're going to Twilight Grove on this next one. And I think Twilight Grove will work in favor of uh, Heisen and M for Minis Zol Ogrim combo. Oh, yeah. But but who's to say? You know, Zapapi and TM, they know what they're doing. They can handle themselves on any stage. I mean, because even when you've got that that island wedge, if you do the belly blast into it, it converts them into spiking downwards. Yeah. And then you've got Cannon and Axe just threatening from <laughs> it's above. A, it's a nice big stage, too, so they, they got room to use their built-in movement abilities without yep. getting in each other's way. So I, I, do, I do think this is good for them. And for oh. Mini, looking for an early KO. That Pappy doesn't have a dodge. And for Mini gets another one. Again, Zapappy used his dodge early, and they're going to continue punishing this. Finally, Zapappy makes it back to the stage before going into Orange Hell. Man, but yeah, he ate a ton of damage from N for Mini. And for Mini's Lance just always finding where it needs to be. TM and Zapappy very damaged. This, this combo is looking like it's working very well for him. Uh -oh. oh, Heisen spiked off the bottom of the stage. That's so unfortunate. He wasn't even that hurt. Yeah, and he got sent away from his teammate, too. So no chance for a save. Yep. Zapappy oh. gets a bow recovery and nearly kills M for Mini, but he's got some health still left over. Uh, you know, credit to this big stage. M for Mini should be dead, right? Any other stage, he'd be down right now. But luckily, you know, they went on the big stage here, and he's going to survive hits like that. Yeah, but damage is building up all around. Three people on the board right now are ready to oh, fly off. Well, there it goes. There's one. And are we Mini finding a second? And gets TM, but a perfect spot dodge keeps him alive. And then there's the recovery that should do it, but it's not. TM is alive. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Yeah, <laughs> all three <laughs> resetting their health down to their second stock. Yeah, let's try this again now. Two stocks. Everybody, everybody at the same health again. Except that little bit of a lead for the blue team. And Heisen, oh my gosh, going almost into the red. He needs to be careful. I know he can deal a ton of damage with that Zul, but he also tends to take quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Well, Heisen, you know, he's been doing a good job of holding on to his health. because he, he looked It looks bad, but he was at that second stock so much sooner than everybody else on yeah. the board. And, uh, and even M for Mini now has more damage oh than he does. Oh my what? gosh, the, the follow -up. double side air, that was so nice. That's that awareness. Oh no. Wow. Oh, okay. No. You know what? No, that's totally fine because <laughs> it, blue team is still up a stop. Yeah, you're right. If you're you right. trade all the way good, down. It was a good trade. But it definitely was a it was a sacrifice. Yep. <laughs> but I mean that's the thing. If you are at if you're a stock ahead and you trade all the way down, right. you win that. You'll have yeah, you'll have one stock left by the time they lose all of theirs. Nice combo from TM, my goodness. Oh man, M for Minis lands. Might be in here. M for Minis landed so many side airs, he just knows how to mirror somebody's movement to just kind of let them expend all their aerial resources and snipe them out. Heisen goes in for the finisher on Zapappy after he used. <laughs> we see Zapappy using a lot of gravity cancels, and that leaves him vulnerable. And I think Heisen's starting to catch on to that. Nice. Good save. Oh, but oh. TM taking at least one of them down for that. Oh, no. Heisen. Okay. Danger he, zone. He recovered up into the, into the bottom of the stage there, but he's okay. This is going to be real hard for Heisen, man. I mean, he is the clutch master, but how much can you, how much can you ask oh. from one man? Well, he the problem down. is, it wasn't just 2v1, it was 3v1. <laughs> Azoth's second guy coming in. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the sixth man on the, on the court. How yeah, do you, that's you a, gotta that's get unfair. him out of there. That's unfair. Uh, <laughs> so that's two now for TM and Zapappy. They are one game away from moving up to grand finals. Oh, but mix and match. Do you think they, they've ever... Oh, okay, we got, yeah, we got young, we got new and old here. We got Heisen part of the original squad for Heisen and M for Mini. And M for Mini sticking with Ulgrim. This is a combination we have not seen before. Uh-oh. Nope. We're going back. It looks like M for Mini's going oh, back. Oh, yep. Full All right. swap. Yeah, back to the back to the swap. You can't have one without the other. You know, you don't get the set bonus. It's like it's like the buddy <laughs> cop film, you know? It's the buddy cop. That's the new partner that this doesn't quite partner. work out, so they pull the old one out of retirement. <laughs> You gotta watch out. Don't be like, oh, Heisen, he's two days from retirement. That's a that's a solid tell. That character is gonna get got. 
All right, they left Blackguard, Small Enigma, and Apocalypse for TM and Zapapi to choose from. Hmm. I don't know what these stages really mean for him, but I know Blackguard has been good to Heisen and M for Mini so far. So that's where they ended up going. Um, although, I mean, it was TM and Zapapi who picked that, so they must be confident about Three, this. Two, one, Let's see if this works out for Heisen and M for Mini. Looks like M for Mini is going to be going for the weapon first. TM grabs his on the other side. And Heisen's the odd man out without a weapon here early on, but he didn't take any damage to grab his. So here we go. Ooh. Everybody's armed up and ready to fight. TM and Zapapi rocking the double axe to start with. Zapapi trying to bait out some movement, but he's also doing it in a pretty smart way that he can rotate to save his teammate if need be. Zapapi's getting a lot of damage on the Heisen. Man, that was a stylish move. Now just starting to chip away. TM going into the red. Oh no, oh, and a little bit of friendly fire pushing it this even for further. For the second time, TM, Zap Happy just keeps hitting his buddy, man. TM's very damaged right now. This is, oh, and Zap Happy came in to relieve the Great pressure. Great rotation. Just in time. That was a nice move by Zap Happy. That makes up for some of the friendly fire. Like, <laughs> All right, we're still friends. TM somehow still alive after that hit, and Heist is trying to finish him off. TM avoids the side air from Heist, and Heist uh -oh. gets the scoop off of the combo. Fair that was trade. Such a nice follow up, but the trade. Fair it's trade. So Pappy and M for Mini heavily damaged. M for Mini off the side, that weapon oh. throw going right into the dead hands. <laughs> That was a pretty nice follow-up there for Zapapi, but it did it's not slick. end up getting the KO. We are playing on a very large stage here, so hits like that will Ooh. be survivable. And there goes Zapapi now. Heisen M for Mini finally in the lead. Maybe for the first time in this set. Yeah, they need to hold on to this lead. Because if this slips away... Well, there it goes. Oh, it's no. all tied up once again. That's okay. It's not like it, it didn't quite slip away. It's just in stasis. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's all evened up right now. And for Mini getting some good damage onto TM. Now it looks like TM's the target. And for Mini might be able to take him out here. He's in red now. And for Mini's in a great spot on TM. Heisen's come rotating in to get some damage on TM. It looks like they're very intentionally focusing on TM right now. And that does seem like a really good strategy. Oh, and Heisen wow. sneaks in with the side sig to get the KO. That is a great move from Heisen and him for Mini. I, I, it really looked like they were intentionally focusing him down, and man, did it work. Because look at this. Zapapi's not hardly damaged on his second stock. TM's already on his final oh, stock. Oh, and look at that. A big Qatar string out onto TM, pushing him solidly into the yellow. I, I oh. think he is their hot target. Zapapi's looking for the finisher on him for Mini, and he might just grab it. Nope, too Not from low. that low. Yeah, too low there to get it, but it's still good damage. Oh, wow. Now they're getting a ton of damage onto Zapapi. Yep. I mean, Heisen might be able, if he can sneak in uh -oh. another side sig, never mind. Zapapi gets a side sig Single. of his own. Hunting and for and the for double. Mini really delaying his recovery delayed there. Delayed double. Too much. A little too delayed, and he had, he had no options left. All right. They have a momentary power play against TM here. Okay. Let's see what they can do. TM's in orange health, and he's wow. just fighting his way through the power play. TM doesn't care. I mean, just swing one way, swing the other, finding targets all around. So now right. you're going to see TM probably play a little bit of a support position because he is deep in the orange there. Yeah. Yeah, and he's seen what happened if he gets too close. Eisen and M for Mini are definitely ready to take him down. Uh -oh, uh oh, here he comes. Hi TM off the side. He's going for the combo. All right, they interrupted. Whoa, what? TM with the save, but him and Zapapi are both deep in the red. Heisen and M for Mini sitting pretty. It's looking really good for Heisen and M for Mini here. One good hit away on, on either of them. I mean, even bouncing off of the side of the stage, that recovery almost did it. Oh, this could be it. Oh, Heisen got the stomp, but he wasn't in a position to follow up on it with a true combo. TM is so close to death. Oh, my what? gosh. How did he get it for Mini? They just oh, won themselves goodness. a 2v1. Okay, Heisen, time to clutch master. This is his last chance. It's do or die. If he loses this, Heisen and M for Mini are out of the tournament in third place. TM scrolling around to the other side. Pretty smart move. And, oh, Heisen somehow still alive. Oh, my How gosh. How is he doing this? 
Okay, he has nice nothing left. To relieve the pressure. He cannot survive another one. He used his weapon again, but they got him. What a nice one v one. Cider Heisen, the Clutch Master. Can he possibly do this to keep his team alive? Otherwise, TM and Zapathy will be the ones moving on to Grands. Man, and both of them just hucking weapons at each other, <laughs> trying to find anything that can get them that KO. Oh! 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 The signature he, goes unpunished. Heisen he missed, he missed his window. He forward. He dashed backwards by accident. Oh, man. Okay, was TM, that... TM has no weapon, and Heisen starving him. But he for TM forced Heisen to let go of his Woo! weapon. The punish, it's not enough. This is the it. The double yes. recovery. Heisen, the clutch master, keeps his team in the game with a brilliant 2v1. Now the set is down to 2-1. to one. Heisen oh went for many. Still have to win two in a row to pull this out. But uh, TM and Zapappy are like poised for victory here. I mean, Man. that was so close. And they brought it back, too. Oh, that yeah. Was, that was like, you know, but at, at the end, we were just looking at an even 1v1. But throughout, I mean, look. Yeah, they, they got the 2v1. Heisen had to really clutch that one out. I, You don't want to have to do that two more times in a row. You <laughs> need to find something earlier on in the match to really hone in on. And I, I think that earlier strategy of kind of focus on TM was really working out in their favor. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to see some more of that, you know? I yeah. don't know if that's really the key to victory here for them, but it really seemed to work out that one time that they did it. Uh, you know, that could easily turn south, right? Once the yes. opponents kind of notice, like, oh, they're only going for you, you know, then you can play differently, and that becomes a detriment, focusing on just one person. Yep. But when the opportunity presents itself, and they take advantage of it correctly. You need to be able to make those calls. Because they will win the 2v1, I, I believe. Uh, Heisen and Enfermini are very prepared for, uh, for to be the two in a 2v1. Three, two, All right, well, here we go. One. Game four. TM and Zapappy just one victory away from moving on to grand finals. They're and already in the best place they've ever been in in a seasonal tournament. Yeah, Mammoth Fortress. Either of these characters. I don't even know how long they've been. <laughs> You got I mean, we haven't really you seen them me. pick this map. It's been some off-kilter ones, you know, a lot. Twilight Grove, Blackguard Keep. And for Minis, put, doing a number on this. Oh, oh, my no, gosh. The Zapappy goes down. 25 seconds in. Nice plays by M for Mini, really dealing the damage as needed. And and TM is not far behind, too. This is really looking good for Heisen and M for Mini. Uh oh, TM gets a nice play. And he even comes in he to got rotate. the touch. Now M for Mini has to go around to the other side, and he just barely makes it. So Pappy goes to our garden, but without a weapon, he's not able to really make it happen against M for Mini. M for Mini back onto the stage. TM very close to death. And there uh -oh. it is. M for Mini gets the kill. All right. Solid lead for the red team. Heisen and M for Mini both on their first stocks. Oh. No. M for Mini going down. Heisen the only one on his on his first stock. All right. Yep. Heisen. I, I, and Heisen's. He, he can probably hold on to this for a while, too. Oh, without, yeah. Without Sentinel's got strong again. defense and high speed. And he's doing it. Doing a lot to Zabappi here. Now Zabappi's in a good position. And Heisen rotates around over him. Yep, go great. Relieve the pressure from TM. Even if you get hit by just that Qatar neutral air, that's fine. You're already incredibly damaged. Yep. And you saved your healthier teammate. So keep your eye on Zapappy here, as I think Enfermini and Heisen are going to be put, trying to focus him down. Yo, here. Nice combos. little team combo. Good combo. That's a lot of damage. Heisen tries to punish TM, but TM stops his combo short just to avoid it. Smart play by TM. Now, the problem here is there was a significant lead going the way of the red team, but M for Mini being so damaged, it can yeah. swing so wildly. Yeah, definitely. So at, at this point, it is totally even. I mean, they had the lead, but it's basically, it's been squandered. And there it goes, now shifting towards the Pappy and TM, but it, it, that's deceiving. Yes. Well, this, this lead is very deceiving because Heisen is, like, very healthy on this second stock yeah. and Heisen's the clutch master it does you no good to kill him last basically it's still just as hard right <laughs> and, and blue team stocks are tenuous at best I mean look at Zapappy right. going into that they barbecue sauce they can both die color. instantly at the same time right in one move with how damaged they are Zapappy just able to make it back oh Heisen missing the KO he got the stomp and for many he gets TM on the other side and Zapappy is not in a good place here how is he going to avoid both of these guys well, just like that, I guess. Nope, never oh, mind. Wow. Heisen catches him. And just like that, like we said, that lead was totally The clash. Spotted. The and time. Oh, the weapon goodness. drop. The, how could they? The 
Nice play. Unbelievable. The TM goes down. Heisen and Ember Oh Mini. my gosh. The Pappy surviving for so long somehow off the edge getting chase dodges just when he needs it. I mean, his teammate wasn't able to get there. He didn't able to get the save, but somehow is a Pappy holding on. Now it's two stocks to one. Zapappy really just trying to stay mobile, but every little bit of damage that he gets chipped with is some he cannot afford. Yeah, this is really looking like Heisen and Emperor Mini's game here. I mean, Zapappy, he might be able to do it, and it would be the coolest thing ever if he managed to. <laughs> but be cooler but if he did. <laughs> oh, but goes. Heisen and Emperor Mini, another one to their name. Down to game five now in this set. You didn't think this was going to go to game five. My goodness, that was... They, they were so close, TM and Zapappy. Yeah. They were like, at one point in the set, one hit away from going to Grands. And now, Jeez. now it's even. Now we're in game five. It's anybody's game. Oh, TM, what's going on here? Is this... So, you know when know you feel like this. you got the read on somebody <laughs> and you really want to send a message and say, oh, you think you're hot stuff? Mm -mm. <laughs> you picked their character. We've got the mirror match going on. TM swapping over to Sentinel. Interesting. How much Sentinel does TM play? I just want to know, is this like a, is this like a, is there a little bit of salt? Is there any BM in, <laughs> in mean, this? Is TM being BM? Or is he just, he's just like. If he picked I, the I same see. skin, I would know? say okay, absolutely you're right, you're right, you're no right. doubt. You're right, you're right, you're right. He's got a different but. skin. It's basically a whole different character now. <laughs> Well, we'll see how this works out for him. I, you know, switching in game five to a character that you've it's not been move. using throughout the tournament is very bold, very risky. See if this works out for TM. Maybe you just wanted the hammer. You can really make some plays with the hammer. Man, it is interesting seeing, you know, the number of axes on the field just continuously drop here. <laughs> yeah, They're we like... had four axes a minute ago. Man, oh man. Heisen getting a strong side air. Oh, but rocketed up with that recovery. Rotating for the edge guard. Zapappy finding his way back, arming up with the bow, trading. Now Heisen the one unarmed. Heisen's fine without a weapon. Oh no, friendly fire from M for Mini. He whiffs against TM and they keep pushing out the damage. Man, He's M for Mini, the healthiest one on the field but still can get knocked out. Oh, there he goes. scoring a single. Oh, for Mini's on a tear right now. Is he going to get the edge guard on? Oh, oh wow. With a perfectly placed weapon throw gets the KO onto Zapappy. That was slick. You were watching M for Mini for the delayed double. Yeah. But Heisen was but just Heisen like, snuck in. Aha, you've activated my trap hammer. <laughs> From the sky, just dropping it down on him. Well, look, they have the lead now, but they've got to build a damage lead or it's all for nothing. Ooh, Zapappy really just going for it with these signatures. But Empermini always dodging around them. Oh, oh but the bow ground pound. It's good that Zapappy got that bow ground pound because he had just whiffed a gravity cancel before Woo. that. And another one, they, just like that. They basically tie it up. And good on Zapappy and TM for staying in this game. So Zapappy really just re landed a ground pound KO with one weapon, hot swap to the other, yeah. and just that ground pound on the other side. <laughs> He's the, the oh. oh my gosh, with the double recovery oh, hit. Oh man, they have just brought this back. It is now a completely even game where Enfermini and Heisen had the lead earlier. The lead's gone. Man, oh man, TM really just going for these big hammer swings now that he sees the damage building up. You see those side airs, the neutral airs. Lots of damage on them and a ton of force. These next kills are going to be so important. Oh, perfect spot dodge by TM, Ooh. but oh no, friendly fire from Zapappy onto his teammate. Oh, going for the down air dive, but Heisen just getting out of the way. Everyone's so incredibly <laughs> damaged here. Oh no, he was too wow. damaged for the combo. He's able to dodge out. He was so hurt that even that true combo broke. And there it goes. There goes Heisen putting Zapappy and TM in the lead. But it is a very fickle lead here as TM and Okay, oh, okay. solidifying it better. a little bit more. A little bit more. Heisen and, and Fermini now on their final stocks, while Zapappy and TM have the opportunity to build a damage lead here. But they are both just one good hit away from death on their second stock, so anything could happen here. And oh There's no, that was, a that was a follow up off of Zapappy's friendly fire. That's unfortunate. 
Even Ooh. even tiny little bits of friendly, because he only did two damage of friendly fire. Yep. But it led to a kill. That's awful. Oh, wow. Zapappy finding these giant, chunky swings. Oh, no! Oh, Heisen dropped too low, and Zapappy's weapon throw from way up in the sky had enough enough airtime and enough velocity to just KO Heisen. Now Inframinity's got a 2v1. This is a really hard 2v1. Oh, man. And Zapappy just really going for it. He's still at two stocks. Now it's two stocks to one. Inframinity fighting for his tournament life. Oh, man, what a nice weapon throw by Zapapi on his way back to the stage. And and Heisen, you know, I, I get what he was doing with that fastball. He was just trying to get yep. under it, but Zapapi put, knew. he put himself so low that he was just that much easier to KO with the weapon. Yeah, Zapapi oh, was man. dialed in. Man. Okay, well, it's all up to him for Mini now. He might be able to do it for his team, but this is looking tough. Woo! And Zapapi and TM get the KO, and they'll be moving on. 3-2 to Grand Finals against Blue and Simple. Man, oh man. This Cinderella story of TM and Zapappy's breakout performance going all the way to Grand Finals. Absolutely insane. Yeah, on their breakout performance, that's crazy. So now they've got to fight Blue and Simple. Not only are they the defending champions, but as we mentioned before, they are just one tournament away. Well, now just one set away yep. from becoming... from from earning the seasonal crown, that is Woo. all four seasonal championships.